Welcome back traders. Thank you for joining me. Ali Casey here from Sideways channel. Today's video is about pyramiding. Of course, I'm joking. We're going to talk about pyramiding in trading. So first, I'm going to tell you what is pyramiding and why we need it. And then I will show you how to do it in strategic context and trade station. And finally, I'm going to show you how the hedge fund guys do it, which is, of course, much better than what we do. So stick around to see how that is done. So pyramiding is another way like position sizing to increase our account exponentially, or at least to increase it much more than if we are doing it with a single uh, contract or a single lot at a time. Now, before I show you how it's done, I would like to ask you to smash the like button and hit the notification bell subscribe to the channel and share the video with others as that will help the channel grow and it's a vote for me to continue producing this great content free content for you guys now let's jump in you can find a lot of info online on pyramiding and the main distinction that i want you to know about is pyramiding involves adding a profitable position to the current position this is very important distinction so it's not like where you buy a hundred share at a thousand and when the price goes to 800, you buy another hundred share. And then when, when the price goes to 600, you buy another hundred shares. And then you have 300 shares averaged down. That's averaging down when the price goes against you. Pyramiding is on the opposite side. It's you buy a hundred share at a thousand. And then when the price goes to a thousand one hundred, then you buy another hundred shares. And then when the price goes to 1,200, you buy another 100 shares. So basically, when the price goes in favor of your earlier position, you add more positions. And this is pyramiding, basically adding more to a profitable position. So therefore, when the price goes against you, not all position will lose. Some of them will lose and some of them will make money. And probably all of them will make money. Well, why don't you add all of them in the beginning? Because the idea behind it is you don't know if the position is going to, you have a probability that this position is profitable in the beginning when you place the, when you place the trade. But once you place it, then you will know uh, if it's going your way or not. And you can actually decide, well, if the price goes, let's say, to ATR in my direction, then I will add one more. And this was uh, popularized by the turtles where in their system, they actually built in this rule. Every time the pro, the price goes three ATR in their favors, they would add one more uh, ATR position and so on and so forth. But I will show you today how we can do this in uh, any platform and if there is an advantage to it. So first to do this, I will uh, try to build a strategy in uh, strategy context. If you go to Algozer, I actually made a trend following since this is like I mentioned was popularized by the turtles. I did the turtle system here. So I built a custom block and I will show you it's uh, 40 in 20 out. It's basically when the high of the current bar higher than the highest high of the past 40 bars, we will go along. And when we when and we will exit when the low of the current bar is the lowest of the past 20 bars, then we will exit. And so I created this block, which is high is the highest and uh, the highest high of a trend length, which is, uh, I said the trend length here, and then I can use this block in actually in builder, uh, in building blocks, and you can see it's gonna show up here. But anyway, we will use uh, the algo wizard this time. So let's set the engine and I will use uh, Bitcoin because <laughs> Bitcoin is in a trend following mode. And so this is the data I have. Now I set the price here. Let me set it to March. And I will tell you why, because I'm testing this data uh, same way in TradeStation. And then we will do one coin. Let's add our block. And we have 40 in, so we're uh, 40 and we're exiting with the short block, but we're setting it to a 20. 
trading on uh, H1, that's 60 minutes bar, no commissions, and one coin only. So this is the uh, this is the equity chart, and now I will do the same thing in uh, trade station. When the high is greater than the highest high of the past, oh, eighty bars. Let's go back. Let me do eighty here and forty here. And again, obviously it's profitable because it's trend following. And this is the equity chart. And here, when the highest high of 80 bars uh, one bar ago, and the low is lower than the lowest uh, low of the past 40 bars. And then I will buy next bar and I will exit next bar. So, same thing. So, if I test, the, test this strategy on trade station, this is uh, Bitcoin USD, and the time frame is 60. And the data I have, uh, like I mentioned, it's only going back to 20. Uh, 18. So this is the February 28th, 2018. And then we can see it's the same trades. Uh, I'm going long when there's a new high and exiting when a new low. And it's only one position at a time. And we can see the performance. So you can see it's uh, exactly the same uh, behavior. And this one is, uh, let's see, the performance is about. 31,000 and SQX is 31,000. So they are very close. Of course, it's the same data. There will still be some marginal differences always, but I'm using same data and uh, they are very close. So now to do uh, pyramiding, well, in TradeStation, uh, you can do it easily. So currently we're trading one coin at a time. And if I edit, the uh, strategy let me go to properties and you can see now we're trading ten thousand dollars and uh, no commission and here i set the maximum share contract unit to one so now i'm going to set it to nine with a fixed uh, unit uh, of one so that means every time the signal is going to happen it's going to add one more position and let's test it and we can see here, the, this is very clear, but let me go back to show you a different strategy. So, so for example, you see this one. Every new high, I enter a position up to nine. And then I exit all of them at the same place. So let's find another one, that's one. So this one was profitable, but then all the rest were not profitable. So that's pyramiding. Not all of them will be profitable. This one, all of them are profitable. So. It's either all or none or somewhere in between. There is no guarantee. But the idea is when the uh, price going in your favor, then you add one more. Now, in our case, we're just adding on a newer high. You can, of course, stipulate that on certain ATRs, number of ATRs, then you can add one more position. And here, for example, we have four winners and five losers. So this is almost break even, and these are losses, and these are winners, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. But now let me see the performance. So it's almost, again, the same uh, equity uh, characteristic, where we have a drawdown in the beginning, and then we are staging up and up. But of course, we're making much more money now. We're making 200,011. It's because we're adding more. Uh, that, of course, requires what? That requires more capital. So uh, to uh, do that, definitely capital is uh, needed. And then most likely you will have a bigger drawdown. Unfortunately, TradeStation is not good in that area to show you the drawdown. But uh, we will have the best way to do it is... I think here, this is the weekly, and we can see here the drawdown is up to 90. It's percentage, and therefore it's a capital. Basically, you need more capital. Uh, nevertheless, this is the curve. It's the same like we see in Strategy Quant X. Now, in Strategy Quant X, we cannot do pyramiding uh, as we did in TradeStation. 
So I'll teach you a way to do it, which is actually what hedge funds do. So hedge funds, they don't do pyramiding like I showed you here. Because the drawback of this pyramiding style is basically you're picking only one curve out of multiple future curves. So if you think about this, we picked 80 and 40, 80 in, 40 out. So that's only one version of the future. So what hedge funds do, they build multiple curves based on the position. So in our case, we want to go with nine up to nine positions. So we will build nine curves of these. So we will do 180 and 40 and 190 and 45 and 170 and 35 and so on and so forth. So I did that already, transferred them to the retester. And here you can see, so this is 70, 35, 60, 30, 50, 25, 90, 45, 100. So I did four below and four above the 80, 40. And then I combined, I combined, <laughs> and then I combined all these in a portfolio, which is this one. So if I click on this portfolio, again, you can see it's the same curve that we have in TradeStation. So these guys, both of them are adding more positions, but this one is, is doing it in a different way, but they achieve the same curve. I can maybe shrink this and you can see it actually looks the same. And you can see how they look very similar, even though they are, they are different systems. So this one actually using nine systems and this one using exactly the same system, yet they achieve the same result. So then I would lean towards the hedge fund way because then this way would be, which have, would have more diversification. It would be more robust. Why? So let me bring this full screen again. You see this one, look, it has a different character. First of all, it has different number of trades. So this one is 62, this one is 111. Yes, they are all correlated and I can prove this to you. Like if we do uh, correlation, you can see that they are correlated, but not all of them or not all of them fully correlated. Like you can see these are 0.9 and this is 0.12. Of course, if we can go to monthly, then they will be highly correlated. But even then, they are not exactly correlated. So this would provide me more uh, like a better future, yes? Because in the future, uh, this one might perform better, 50 and 25, or 150, or 120 and 60, instead of the 80, 40. So I achieve the same result, more or less, like this one is 300,000, and this one is 211. Now, don't look at this because this will be different. But like I showed you, the equity curve is it's almost a copy. Like if I didn't show you the performance number, you would say it's the same. So they are almost, they have the same characteristics. And yes, they have different drawdown in number and different profit at the end in numbers. But what I want to add here is this will be a lot more robust than the other one. So while the other one using only one version of the future, this I have nine versions of the future and probably I achieve more profit or less and probably I will have worse drawdown or better, but I will definitely have a higher robust portfolio out of this than the other one. Great, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you like the content of the channel, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the video with others and that will help the channel grow. And if you have any questions, please do comment below and I will try to answer all of them. And also you can send me an email or subscribe to the Discord through the Patreon link down below. I answer all the questions always, always, always as best as possible because I'm here to help you guys get better education. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.